Hi Gems and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back. I am back, yes. I'm very happy to be here with you at this time, my beautiful Geminis. I want to thank you all for the love and support. Uh, really, honestly, I, 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 <laughs> I'm all very happy with all my subscribers here on YouTube. Uh, I have so much love and support from all of you. It's beautiful and um I want again, I want to thank for all the beautiful postcards, for all the letters. Uh, I'm very, very overwhelmed and humbled. Thank you for your patience as well, for waiting for me uh, to, come, to come in with your videos. Um, I will try to do this format for a little while. Uh, what I'm going through is some type of um, dental um, difficulties or issues right now. And um, so uh, seeing face to face will not be possible at this time. Uh, though, please bear with me with my speech as I am uh, going through uh, some, um, uh, what's the word, sorry, <laughs> uh, so, some type of uh, surgeries. And so um, please bear with me uh, as much as you can. I am back again. I am back because I missed you all and I couldn't, I, I, and those two weeks I've been taking is uh, really, honestly, most of it was for resting. So uh, I want to thank all again uh, for those of you that um, are here. Uh, for those of you that do not know, I channel messages through my higher self and the divine and I use the cards as a tool to deliver the messages. As you will see a card, it will not be the same as I see the card or any other, any of anybody else sees the card or any type of cards, period. Uh, but um, I do channel messages and um, so uh, here I am. Um, again, thank you for all the love and support. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That will let you know uh, when I do upload videos. I just wanna say that I'm very blessed to have uh, this uh, all um, for you, of course, my beautiful gems, but as well to all my subscribers that are here on YouTube. I am very blessed to have such a loving family. Uh, you are all amazing in my heart. So now, um, like I said, this is going to be the format for a bit. Um, and um, we're going to start with um, the clearing of my clearing, and then I will do your clearing as well. So um, when I do ring this, uh, this uh, when, I re when I ring the, sorry, <laughs> When I ring the singing bowl, uh, it is to clear my energy, my space, and I'm going to clear your energy and your space. Thank you so much for all being here again. I really appreciate it and know that I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Okay, so let's get started. Perfect. Use my spray. I'm going to spray, spray Methadron, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, my crystals, my angels, my sacred space here, and you. This is also good for the third eye. Uh, now, um, when I went into your energy, so how, how I do my readings is that I will go into uh, what I picked up, what I picked up from the divine. To tell you and then we're going to go into the reading is a lot of you are stuck in a in a situation maybe uh in patterns uh that you keep doing or karmic patterns uh i see also like being worried um not knowing where you are uh too many there's also confusion i feel for some of you 
I, I feel that um, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, uh, you've been waiting for something or something or someone to come in, I feel, uh, to change your life or something to change your life. Um, I'm also picking up for you, Gems, is that um, you've been manifesting, you've been trying to manifest, you've been doing like your, your board, some type of board uh, where you... Um, your dream board is what they're showing me. Yes, your dream board uh, where you've been manifesting, wanting something. And I, I feel a lot of you are feeling stuck in a situation. Maybe it's also negative thoughts that are passing through your mind. Uh, you're feeling that you're stuck in situations. But what I do pick up is the universe is coming in to help you to move things along. And there is some, some kind of judgment that's coming towards you, meaning that something is coming in destined for you. Okay, is what they're showing me very clearly. So now, um, I also took out uh, an affirmation card for you, and your affirmation card is health. I don't know if you see the, the cards or not. Um, so this is what it is, though. And it says, uh, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So repeat after me for your affirmation. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I also took out a card from Archangel Michael, and Archangel Michael is telling you, to have confidence, to have confidence. So here it says, Archangel Michael, please lean, lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. And so it is. And I also took out a card the Lover's Oracle. So this is your card. I just wanted to show you the card. Okay. Beautiful, right? And it says here, look, with it, look deep within your heart and you will always feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So look, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. That's your message. I also took out a card again, like I did before. You're going to get two crystal cards. You're going to get an animal spirit card. And you will get what your soul wants to tell you. And that will be at the end of the reading. So now let's get started with your reading. Just remember, whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you. Um, always come to me when, uh, if this reading doesn't resonate, look at your rising, your moon, your Venus. And uh, also Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Chiron, your South Node as well. This will also be a reading for you. When you watch my videos or hear my videos... Every day that you come on my on my channel, you will receive a new message that you have not received when you came the first time. Always come back at the end of the, uh, the week and watch my reading and see if it resonates with you and let me know. Um, uh, you know, I will. I always like to hear your comments, um, my beautiful gems. Whether if you're a man or a woman, you are both equally appreciated. Okay, I'm going to cut the cards in three. I'm going to use this deck here to um, to do the, the reading. And then I'm going to use this other deck here that I have to clarify for you. We're going to do the Celtic Cross because um, I do believe that that is the best way of giving a reading is with the Celtic Cross. So now um, let's just take a second here. This is for Gemini's. From October 21st to the 27th, 2019. What are the messages? Oh boy. Oops. This card came out. All right. Okay. Your ships are coming in, my beautiful gems. Yes, your ships are coming in. Could, this could be in three days, as in three weeks, or as well as in three months as well. 
But um, what I see here is your ships are coming in. This is long term for you. Maybe you're waiting from someone that's from far away that, to come towards you as well. This talks about uh, you having positive um, positive thoughts about the future. There's something that's long invested, long term that's coming in. I do see fire energy here, Sagittarius Lee or Aries that's here for you. There is someone in coming in for you. In the past, there's been a uh, the Ten of Swords energy, Gemini like you, Libra or Aquarius. This talks about a situation that ended, uh, something that, um, you know, as you can see, the Ten Swords are not on the person. This is all th thoughts uh, or, of course, people backstabbing you, of course, but thoughts ne or negative um you know, just very negative emotions coming through here. I'm picking up and it's the ending of a situation. It's the ending. Okay. There's been a lot of purifying. There's been a lot of purging taking place. Uh, a lot of you are going through a heavy uh, rebirth. Okay. That's taking place right now for you, for some of you, but there is a 10 and a 10 usually talks about a new beginning. What's crowning you is again, I see a lot of fire energy for you. This could be a queen. Yes. It's a queen or a king. It doesn't matter. Um, and uh, this talks about, again, a Sagittarius Leo, Libra, uh, not Sagittarius, sorry, Leo and Aries here. This talks about, um, I don't know, I'm picking up Libra for some, so I'm, I'm, I think there's also someone for a Libra here. But the fire energy, they're coming in as a, a fire energy here, uh, very strong. Um, this is a person that has a lot of inspiration, has a lot of love and passion. They're very creative. They're also very feisty. But when they come in as a queen or a king, they're very, very stable as well. In the past... Mm, here you go, my beautiful gems. You came into your own reading. So the lover's card, this could be a lover or a soulmate, twin flame that's here for you, a decision that had to be made. Um, if you were dealing with someone, if so this is for, a, if this is a twin flame reading, now I will not be a twin flame reading for everybody. But for those of you that this is a twin flame reading, I feel that uh, you were dealing with someone that was very immature. Uh, they were coming in and out of your life for some of you. And I feel that like they're coming back again, but more refined and more stable. But this is, uh, I feel that like they're coming in. They're, they're coming towards you. This is what I'm picking up very strong. Um, there is a decision here that had to be made or was made already. Maybe you made that decision. Some of you made the decision of walking away. Something that uh, really destroyed you or someone hurt you, my beautiful gems, okay? It could be either or. So, or you could be dealing with another Gemini, of course. Okay. I got here in the near future, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I got the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles talks about a new beginning in finances, a career, uh, money coming in. There's something coming in that's going to bring you stability in a home, a new beginning in a home, okay? Maybe two people coming in, also two people coming in, bringing the same kind of value to the relationship as well. If this has to do with relationship or finances, uh, what I got here on the seventh card is the four of wands, this celebration taking place. Um, someone's getting, maybe someone's going to get proposed to, or someone's proposing to someone. There is a proposal here. There is a completion in the home, happiness in the home, away from drama as well. I do see someone uh, being proposed to here. Maybe this person is coming long distance to you. Okay, um, and then I also, what they told me is that for some of you, there is a, whoever this person that's coming in towards you, uh, there's a decision that was made where uh, the decision was made, but whoever this person is that's crossing you, okay, uh, they're, I feel for some of you, you're dealing, not all of you, but for some of you, you're dealing with two different people. 
if there is two different people around you, maybe there, there is two different people around you. I see one being more stable than the other. We'll, we'll, we'll check that out after. What's coming, or what's around you is a new beginning, the full, a new beginning in the unknown. Okay, uh, this time you're not really going to like, uh, I feel that you are very sure of your steps this time around. You've been through this, these, these type of feelings, situations that took place for you. Okay, and uh, you are very strong moving forward. I see rainbows around you as well. What is in the... Ninth position of hopes and fears for my beautiful gems. Okay. The eight of wands, a lot of beautiful messages coming forth, back and forth. A lot of you are going to be experiencing this. You're hoping for this to take place. I see a lot of love here, a lot of passion, a lot of quick messages coming in. Also short distance travel or just a lot of movement taking place. I feel that these messages are very sincere as well. And the tenth card you got is the ace of the ace of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, unconditional love, pure love, true love. You're going to be very overwhelmed. Some of you are not even expecting this coming in, um, but I feel that this was a decision that you had to do in the past, and whatever the decision was done on you, I feel that both parties worked very hard to get where they are at this moment. Now, the Ace of Cups talks again about true love, unconditional love taking place. And let's see what's underneath the card. The Three of Cups. Celebration taking place. Happiness. Celebration. Uh, just being happy and, um, you know, uh, and being happy, prosperous. Okay, so now what we're going to do. I see Archangel Raphael very close in this reading for you. I'm going to put this candle here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to move this here. Sorry. Okay. Put this here. And we're going to take these cards here, the star card deck i'm going to just shovel, shuffle it a bit and we're going to go into the reading deeper into the reading for you i see like new beginnings in a, new beginnings in a in finances here two tens on the ground talk about uh ten ten talks about being on the right path um manifesting dreams coming true your ships are coming in a lot of beautiful messages taking place about mo money monet maybe money about finances, career, a lot of celebration in the home. I see engagement, marriage, or some kind of a completion in the home taking place here for you. Okay? Very beautiful. New beginnings taking place. That's what's taking place around you. For those of you that have not felt it yet, it is coming for you. Now, I'm going to take a sip of water here. So, cheers. Good. Now... This is for Gemini, October 21st to October 27, 2019. Why is the Three of Wands here? Oops. Three of Wands. Okay. There's an offering, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. There's an offering that's taking place, a friendship maybe, uh, someone coming in to help. Um, I feel that this person is, uh, you met this person Maybe like some of you have known this person or met this person during a new moon. Okay, now I don't know who this message is for. But for those of you that have met someone that lives very far from you, it's a friendship that's here. This person is very sincere, is what they're telling me. Okay, very sincere. And they have, uh, they want to come in to give you help, to give you love, to give you hope and peace. There's a two of wands energy. Again here, this is again Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries here. This is about uh, coming together, sharing the same vision, um, sharing the same vision, new beginnings as well. 
and uh, also something about short term short term what is the word they're trying endeavors like you sharing the same dream you getting like you, a lot of talking back and forth creating something about creating um manifesting it's as if like the stars are aligned for this situation to take place. This could also be an online business as well. Taking off partners. Maybe you're partnering with someone. Okay. Uh, what else is here? Why is it? Why is the this is the cups and the two of wands here with the three of wands? What does it have to do with? Six of wands energy. Very strong fire energy here for some of you. This has to do again, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It doesn't have to be, but this is the energy. It's coming in as very fiery, very, very, uh, something that is inspired through you, of course. This is success, success. Abundant resources opening and success. Maybe you're meeting someone that is very successful or um, you're meeting someone that's very successful or you are going to be very successful because your ships are coming in. The ships are coming in and a lot of you remain. Let's say this has to do with business and you've been making money in this business. Okay. You're very, very fine. And you're coming up with your own ideas, you know, because uh, air uh, fire signs are very like, uh, maybe uh, this is the energy that you you're picking up uh, as you being the fire sign here where you're very creative. Uh, whatever the situation is, you remain humble. And that's beautiful to see that. And you've been making a lot of like people coming up to you wanting to, uh, create more with you or uh, take take part of your endeavor, whatever it is, it's going to be very successful. I see it here. Okay. And I keep seeing the stars for you. A star, the doves, a star is very strong here. Now, what, what is this night of uh, wands here all about? Whatever this person is or wherever the situation is, I got here fire sign very strong and earth energy very strong. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a new beginning and finance is coming in. Something is coming in to help you financially to give you a boost, to bring you to a higher level. Whether if this is a job or career, something that has like stability for you here. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, the Divine is coming in to offer you something. Maybe you will have two offers for some of you. You got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so the Eight of Cups here talks about where some of you may have walked away from a situation where there was promise of, but you were looking for something more. You were looking for something or someone that was stable. Okay. Um, I feel that for those of you now bear with me because I have a lot of messages here. For those of you, and you know who I'm talking to, that was dealing with a twin flame. When you knew this person or this person knew you, okay? Uh, I feel that this person that you were dealing with was a bit immature. And you felt that you had to walk away from this person maybe because they were very unstable. Even though that, they, that you got... Uh, the universe came in and gave you all the right signs. For some of you, you did walk away from the situation or from this person in particular because of stability. The stableness was like something about stableness was not there. Um, you had to walk away to find your own star because it keeps showing me a star for you, Gemini's, a star. That's a healing and a blessing. Okay. You got a new beginning that's going to be taking place. You got it twice. This card came in twice. There is a new beginning that is going to be taking place for you. 
And this talks about also Aries energy, Leo energy, or not Libra energy, Taurus energy here, very strong. Uh, this is the Empress energy. Uh, this is a rebirth. A lot of you are going through a rebirth or uh, at this moment. Uh, and uh, you are, you know, changing. You're changing on an everyday basis. That's 100%. This talks about um, abundant resources, doors opening up. Uh, you changing everything about yourself. You're not even going to recognize yourself or people around you are not going to recognize who you are. Uh, this is about uh, being stable in finances, like really, really being stable in finances and uh, just, um, you know, a lot of create, creative ideas. Uh, you could be dealing with someone as well that, or this could be you, that it follow the, follows the moon phases, um, you know, the new moons, the full moons, a lot of manifestation here taking place. You're changing everything about yourself. Huge transformation is taking place here. Okay, and now what is the overall energy? That card went flying. Let me see. The overall energy is, again, the Queen of Wands. So I got the Queen of Wands twice, oops, into the reading. There you go, twice in the reading. Okay, so you could be dealing again, like I said, with a king or a queen of wands, which talks about, again, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. <laughs> wow, this is so strong. Very strong. Even about something about some of you, your Chiron. Your Chiron is an Aries, I feel, for some of you. You're going through a lot of uh, changes um, you're dealing with someone that has a lioness or a lion energy, also a black panther energy as well. Um, very creative, very creative, very successful, very, very successful. I'm very happy to see this. Now, why is the Ten of uh, Swords here energy? Let's continue. Why is the Ten of Swords energy here? Okay. This happened for you. So from the Six of uh, Swords, you went to the Four of Swords, and I got that energy twice of the Four of Swords energy. Uh, the, four, the Four of Swords energy for me talks about... Well, why I say twice is because... This is what they're showing me as well, is that uh, you've been hibernating. You've been taking care of yourself. You've been taking a break, healing uh, all your chakras, especially the the especially the the crown chakra, the third eye, the throat chakra, and the heart chakra. I've been going through a lot of uh, purging, uh, purging, taking care of yourself. You're really resting from someone. Some of you are resting from a Pisces as well. They're showing me here. And uh, you haven't been trying to manifest anything in the past. You're just going with the flow is what I'm picking up for some of you. Now, why is uh, the lover's card here? Again, they're showing me that a decision had to be made or a decision will be making or taking its course very soon. Something that you need to use your vocal, your heart chakra has to open and you have to use your vocals. This talks about talking, communicating very clearly about a decision right now i got number 22 very strong in your reading number 11 i also got one 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 what is this uh lover's card and the two of swords energy oh boy talks about you not sleeping at night Nine of Swords energy in the past, something that kept you awake at night. A lot of, of thoughts, self self sabotaging thoughts as well. Um, not hearing the divine clearly. Um, a lot of negative thoughts. Okay, is what they're showing me. A lot of fighting, arguing, okay, a lot of drama around you when you were in this situation in the past. 
What is the Queen of Wands here all about? Please let me know in the comments if this resonates with you. You also got the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of you could, this probably, this Gemini is probably dealing with two different people. If not, you're dealing with one person that is very loving. This is like the Queen of Cups is, is uh, she or he is unconditional love. Okay, this talks about unconditional love. Very intuitive. Um, they have, they, they're very intuitive with the earth, the ocean, the tides, as well, cosmically. A lot of love here, a lot of passion here. You got the Nine of Cups, and let me see what else you got here. Oh boy, okay. There's a huge transformation taking place. I feel for some of you, Gems, you're dealing with two people that you love, okay? You're letting go of one person um, and you're going towards your destiny. For others of you, this could mean finance, finances as well. You got the death card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or right now we are entering the Scorpio season as we are speaking. October 21st is the Scorpio season where you're going to be going through a lot of transformations. You're going with the flow. There's no resistance here. You're just letting go. Um, you know, there's a lot of endings with new beginnings taking place, uh, like you being in the cocoon and then coming out as a butterfly. Um, it might take up to three full moons uh, for this transformation to take place for some of you. Uh, I see that uh, this talks about dreams coming true. The Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, very strong here. Uh, a lot of transformations and a lot of dreams coming true is what they're showing me. And you also got the Ace of Wands, which talks about passion, ignited um, inspiration. There's also, uh, the, if, if this has to do with a twin flame or you becoming your own twin flame, your body is generating, your DNA is changing where there's a lot of, uh, there's like a Kundalini that's arising, a Kundalini, okay? So a Kundalini, if you want to check it out on YouTube, what it means, or on, uh, or you could Google it as well, okay? Uh, and I got also a Libra here, if you're dealing with a Libra. The month of October, it talks about justice being on your side, talks about things being fair and just. It talks about um, so many things here. Uh things being in balance, talking the truth, speaking in truth and your integrity, and things starting to finally to balance itself. I also have your 1111. Now, uh, why is the 10 of Pentacles here? Let's see about the 10 of Pentacles that's coming in the near future for you. So you got the two of pentacles, but it's reversed. So what I feel here is that you're very grounded. You're very grounded. You're not being pulled in many directions. You're being pulled in one direction. Okay. And uh, you set, uh, you're balancing, you, you balanced, you balanced your life or whatever it is that you have to balance out. Okay. I see no resistance here from whoever that's coming towards you. I feel that uh, people kind of respect you more for because there's something that's coming to you like very grand here okay i see money i see money i see love i see things being in balance i see justice taking place i see unconditional love here that's taking place someone is coming back unconditionally loving you i'm also picking that up where they're not blocking you or fighting you or they're not being pulled in many in they're not being pulled in uh in two directions. I feel that they're being pulled in one direction. So why is the seven of wands and the two of pentacles reversed for the ten of pentacles here? Again, the four of wands twice in your reading. Someone's coming in to propose to you. Yes, it could be proposal, yes. Uh, the 11-11 is here. It's very strong. Celebration in the home. Someone may be asking you out on a date. Someone's asking you out 
on a date or to be your friend again. Someone's coming back here for you. I see celebrations in the home. Happy home. Happy home. Happy wife or happy wife, happy home. Or vice versa if it has to do for men too. Uh, new beginnings in a home, finances, a new beginning uh, in a house. It's really beautiful here. So if this is taking place for you. The theme here is very, I, I see the theme here, very strong. So again, like, I'm sorry about that. So what I was saying is that the divine timing is here for you at this moment, meaning that you've been seeing the signs, the doors are opening for you. You're seeing there's abundance coming in. I see very closely lioness, lion here, doves, stars, stars, especially the, the star symbol. If it means anything for you, I would like to know. You've been patient. You've been patiently waiting. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius as well. This could also be Jupiter in Sagittarius when Jupiter leaves when well, no, sorry so when Sagittarius leaves Jupiter Capricorn goes into Jupiter uh, I believe that the, uh, something is going to come towards your home where it's going to bring you happiness maybe for some of you something in the month of November 21st to December 21st this is you taking care of yourself you uh, really uh, doing your best to heal yourself you've been very patient and I've been seeing I, I'm seeing a lot of rainbows here a lot of rainbows this is like, a, this is beautiful. This I see celebration. I see a ha happiness. I know that in the past, it was probably very hard on you. I could see that where, you know, you had to make the hardest decision or someone made a hard decision on you. Okay. But uh, where uh, maybe some of you were dealing with someone that was very manipulative or they were the martyr, you know, like uh, someone that also, uh, someone that pulls the victim card too often you know but i see beautiful things coming for you let's see what the fool is all about the fool is what's around you the new beginning that's going to be taking place some of you are just waiting for this okay uh there is your again like this could be a gemini okay this is the king of swords this could be a gemini libra or aquarius this is someone that is very um uh, sees the truth in every situation, speaks the truth, um, especially your crown chakra, your third eye. You're very aligned, okay? All your chakras are aligned here, and you're speaking your truth in integrity. You're seeing the whole of a situation. There's a lot of solutions. You speak with love and compassion, okay? Um, there is a lot of solutions here is what I'm seeing, or maybe you're dealing with someone that will be in this way. Why is the king of swords here with the new beginning? I've, you have the sun card. This is beautiful. The sun card is um, the best card in, in the in the deck, right? It's the beautiful, the most beautiful omen that you can get. When the sun shines, everything's beautiful. So you could be dealing with, again, I feel very strong here. There's someone here that has... I don't know why, but I'm picking up very strong, like a lion, lioness or lion energy here in the reading. Okay. This is a blessing that's coming for you. Maybe for some of you, this started in the month of August of 2019. What is the sun card? What is the sun here with the king of swords? Okay. I have to take out this card. Give me a second. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Whatever that you give, you're going to be receiving. Things will be in balance. Well, if this is, has to do with a business partnership or a love partnership. You're dealing with someone that is a high priest or a high priestess. The universe sometimes will not show you everything because you know they want to give you surprises as well. They want to surprise you with beautiful gifts and um, there is something that is not known to you yet. You're dealing with someone that's a high priest or someone that is a high priestess. Maybe you are a high priest or a high priestess, my beautiful gems, where you're very, uh, you, you're very intuitive. Uh, you have, you have, um, you know, you know, you, you have ways of knowing when your messages are coming in. <clears throat>
uh, an old soul that has, a, you know, like very sacred, um, sacred books. Uh, just, uh, you know, this is beautiful. Whatever that's happening here is beautiful, my beautiful gems. I like it. And you got, again, the eight, eight of Wands, which is going to be a lot of messages coming back and forth from the divine as well. <clears throat> Being open to the divine. <clears throat> a lot of messages are going to be coming in. Uh, why is the Eight of Wands here in the Hopes and Fears? Oh, <clears throat> wow. Okay. Wow. You got the Moon card with the Tower. That is awesome. Okay. There's a lot of anxiety and fears associated to this. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer Pisces here as well. Um, the tower is coming in to change everything for you. The divine is coming in to bring you change. Okay, you're going through a passage right now. You're going through a passage. Okay, this is why you're feeling in the way that you are. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling like maybe you're you're hard on yourself and uh, negative thoughts or or something that you're stuck in a in a cycle that you you, you want to get out of but you don't know how to. Okay, well. <laughs> That's coming in to change. Something is coming in to change. Something that you're not seeing yet, okay? Um, you're not seeing the situation at hand in the way it is. What is the moon and the tower card? There is beautiful changes that are going to be taking place for you. And I think so for some of you, it's going to happen in the full moon that we're going to have in November. From October 21st to November 21st. In the Scorpio energy. What is that? What is the moon? Okay. Look at that. You've got again the Ace of Cups. I asked why the moon and the Tower card here. And twice you get the Ace of Cups. Unconditional love. Sacred love. True love coming towards you. Okay. And... Um, yeah, there is an offering that's coming in. Uh, there is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but there is an offering here. This could be financial for some of you. This could be love. This is someone coming in uh, and offering you, for some of you, this could be, uh, this is also an apology for others of you. There's a lot of unconditional love here that's taking place. Two Ace of Cups. Look at that. You got the two of them. Two Ace of Cups here. Beautiful. That's an offering of money or for others of you that are in school or something that's coming in that's going to bring you something. And this is what you've been hoping for. But you've been hoping for the change. It's coming. The divine is coming in to clear everything, to remove everything that's not for your highest good. And sometimes they have to remove you from jobs that you love, people that you love. But because some of you have to go on a, on your soul path, whatever your journey is. And this is where there's a lot of fears and anxieties attached to this. Okay. What they're showing me very strong is that uh, there's a sense of um, you need to let go. What they're showing me here is the elephant. Some kind of commitment. This could be in love, marriage for others of you hoping to have this commitment. Maybe... Uh, uh, wanting a commitment from someone that you love or this could be a financial institution okay where or it also talks about you reaching higher levels in in your spiritual journey higher levels besides your you yourself your higher self other dimensions as well and there is a completion that will be taking place for you a completion but some of you are feeling confused right now there's a lot of confusion at this moment just hang in there why is the Ace of Cups here as your final card? Oops. Again, I'm getting that some of you are confused or about this person that is a fire energy here, what they're showing me. Uh, you're feeling stuck or confused. You're not seeing things clearly. Some of you... Oh, I also picking up also for some of you now, I don't know why, but they said something about you being confused. But then they told me, okay, there's some of you are going to be relocating or moving to someone. Because like I see when I saw the three of wands here as your first card, I feel someone is coming towards you or you're going towards someone. There's a relocation or moving for some of you that are taking place. 
and this has to do with a fire sign again i got the knight the knight of uh wands which is a uh an aries leo or sagittarius here someone coming in what is this all about this ace of cups six of swords energy and the knight of wands Queen of Pentacles, I see here finances are going to be better for you. Your finances, stableness, some of you are dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this is you coming into your stability when it comes to money. Look, look at that, you're the Queen. Look at the Queen of uh, Pentacles, right? And look at the Empress card. If you look at these cards, two cards hand in hand, I don't know if you see it or not. Okay, sorry, I have to adjust my camera here. Okay, if you look at them, very stable resources coming in, abundant resources, being su successful, being stable. That's just what I'm seeing that's taking place for you, okay? Even if this night is coming in, they're going to be very stable. <clears throat> they're going to be very stable. Why is the Three of Cups here? Some of you are going to get reunited with someone. No, no, that's not, no, this is not going to be for all of you. This is going to be about for 3% of you. So for 3% of you, 3%, there is some kind of uh, reconciliation that's taking pa taking place here where you're going to be together again. There's someone, not all of you, but I would say about 2 to 3% of you, there is someone that you've been wanting to come back. Uh, for some of you, it's your twin. You've been waiting for this twin person, okay, to come back. And I see that they are coming back. And you got the judgment card as well. So this is destined. It's destiny that's coming towards you. You're faded. Okay, you're destined. Yeah, you're destined. It's also you judging a situation when it comes back as well for some of you. And the final card for this reading, the last card, what's the conclusion of all the cards here? I got the queen and the king of swords. Okay, this could be you seeing the truth, being blunt, talking your truth. Please always do it with love and compassion. But at times you have to put your foot down because that's what it is, right? Because people cannot take advantage of you anymore. Cutting through everything that does not serve you, seeing things for clear. Talking and speaking clearly here is what it's showing me. You having connect, having gone through that through the transformation that you have been going through. You got also the Eight of Pentacles here. <laughs> and the Star card. Like I, now, they didn't want me to explain what the Eight of Pentacles was because they wanted to show me something very strong here, okay? And please listen and bear because this is how the divine communicates with me. This is my, you, my beautiful gems, as the queen or the king, because I got both here. This is a soulmate connection or just a connection between two people. You got three eights. Three eight. Eights. Infinity. Okay, you got the star card, healing and blessing that's taking place for you. The eight. They wanted to show me the 17 turns into an eight. Eight, eight. Though you have another eight on the ground, that's four eights that you have here. This talks, I really strongly feel for some of you, you're dealing with a, a Leo energy here. Very strong Leo energy. I have Gemini energy. I have Libra energy, Taurus energy as well. I got Aquarius, very strong. I got also Cancer, very strong here in the energies, okay? So this is your reading. 
I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for, again, this is someone from the past. This is a soulmate that's coming in or a twin flame for some of you. Okay. It's very strong here. Very, very strong. Wow, what a beautiful reading. All right. Now we're going to look into a uh, few, uh, for those of you that want to stay behind, to see uh, what crystals, what are your crystals this week that you should be using? And I hope that some of you got this book, right? This is the crystal reading cards. First, first one you got is, I hope I say, I'm saying it right. <laughs> Okay, for a person that, ha that speaks four to five languages, sometimes the vowels are hard to <laughs> pronounce. Okay, so the first one you got is Kunzanite. Kunz I hope I'm saying it right. Kunzite? Kunzite? There we go. Kunzite. If I'm not saying it right, well, <laughs> it is what it is. I You could, you know, look at it. And this talks about self-love. So I will read this to you. Uh, this is the heart chakra. Okay. Kunzite. Kunzite. Zite. Kunzite offers the blessing of unconditional love at its purest. It invites you to open your heart fully to allow the love of the universe to enter the inner chambers, awakening the love and divine essence of the heart. This potent medicine teaches a new way of loving unconditionally. Place this card on your heart and breathe its medicine deeply as you feel your heart expand and the divine loves go and surrender all that and surrender to all that no longer serves you in life. Crystal meaning number one, deepen self awareness. Number two, expands your consciousness, creating new opportunities in life. Number three, allows you to let go of the old emotions and thus make a way for the new. Number four, assists in con connecting to your voice with free-flowing expression. Message from your crystal diva is, you have drawn this card today to remind you it is time to surrender and let go. As we journey through life, we collect and hold on to all be belief systems, ideas, emotions, feelings, and experiences that have hurt or affect us, affected us in some way or another. You may be currently feeling held down by old baggage, negative feelings, and thoughts, and that you had that you have found challenging to let go of the divas are here to share with you that the past is now behind you and it's time to detach release and let go of all that no longer serves you whatever it be an old hurt relationship job friendship or behavior offer these feelings over to the crystal divas as they assist in the letting go process you are encouraged to work deeply with the divas of kainite as well. As why kainite? Wait a second. Let me see if I'm in the wrong. Am I in the wrong page? Oh God! Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Let's start again. Okay, my beautiful gems. I hope that you're still with me. So let's go. This is uh, for the heart chakra and it offers uh, the blessing of unconditional love at its purest. It invites you to open your heart fully to allow the love of the universe to enter the inner chambers, awakening, awakening the love and divine essence of the heart. This potent medicine teaches a new way of loving unconditionally. Place this card on your heart and breathe its medicine deeply as you feel your heart expand and the divine, divine, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Divine love of self overflow into every cell, your mind, body, and spirit. Crystal meanings, number one, connects you to your own infinite source of love. Number two, allows the heart to expand and flow, giving and receiving. Number three, promotes healing from abandonment, abandonment and re rejection. Number four, opens and aligns the heart chakra to divine love. And number five, assists in dissolving deeply held pain and resentment. Okay, and uh, your message from your crystal diva is this card has come into your awareness today to invite 
you to enter into a deeper, more loving union with yourself. You have now entered a time in your life where you are ready to master the state of being. You may be feeling a little disconnected or frustrated with yourself and others. The divas urge you to be kind to yourself and acknowledge how far you have come. It is time to honor yourself for who you are right now. Right here, right now, as you fall in love with yourself again, embracing all your positive and negative aspects. Take a moment to forgive yourself for your perceived bad choices and the mistakes you have made, knowing they have, they build character and strength. Place this card on your heart chakra and breathe in this powerful medicine of love. Feel the essence of pure of love that you have within you and allow this to dissolve anything that holds you back from truly loving yourself. As you embark on this powerful journey of self-love, see your pure essence and the divine love that shines out to your heart. In all your light and your darkness, feel the divas of of, of this crystal support you, support your deepening relationship of love and compassion for yourself. From this very sacred space, all is possible. This card is can also indicate you may be feeling disconnected and unloved by do, uh, by those around you. As you deepen in love for yourself, you will naturally deepen and open your con your connection to everyone and everything around you. So I was reading the the wrong uh, page before. Sorry about that. <laughs> Next one you got is selenite, spiritual awakening, and this is the crown chakra. Selenite is a powerful light savior of universal energy. This potent crystal sends energy into the crown chakra, bathing the body in loving and healing energy of the cosmos and clearing away the old and making way for the new vibrant energy and a deeper spiritual connection. The medicine of selenite brings uh, the mes medicine of selenite balances and cleanses the seven main chakras. This powerful crystal assists in opening the crown chakra as it draws down the divine light of the cosmos into the top of your head. It acts like a lightning bolt of universal energy. Due to its structure, it allows energy, energy to flow powerfully like a strike of lightning. It is a perfect crystal for cleaning the energy field and for awakening, awakening deeply to your spiritual essence. Being in the presence of this magnificent crystal allows you for a direct link and connect to the cosmos and spiritual wisdom. So the number one uh, meaning is works as a vacuum cleaner to purify and cleanse the aura. Number two, opens and stimulates the crown chakra, bringing in the divine light of the cosmos. Number three, allows you to move forward in strength. And number four, connects you to your higher self and I am presence. And the message from your crystal diva is you have attracted this card today because you are entering into a powerful time of spiritual awakening. There are specific cycles and times in life when the opportunity to deepen spiritually are more potent than others. This is your time now as you are gifted with the opportunity to awaken to deeper aspects of this wisdom within yourself. If you have been feeling a little ungrounded and dizzy of late or just feeling confused about things in your world, know that this is perfectly fine and is part of your spiritual awakening. It can stir things up for a while as the new energies integrate and ground into your day-to-day -day life. The divas of Selenite have a right to carry you, have a right, a right to carry you through the sacred time of awakening. Open and receive this potent energy into your world. Your conscious awareness is expanding, and profound spiritual insights and deeply held ancient wisdom are servicing from deep within. You are encouraged to honor this process for yourself and trust and open for the experiences that are being shared with. you at this amazing time you may feel inspired to study spiritual books attend courses and workshops join a meditation group and experience different forms of healing and self-discovery or to be guided to travel to a spiritual inspired location or retreat remember this time of spiritual awakening is a sacred opportunity for you to embrace your true self trust your own guidance and intuition and enjoy this amazing journey of awakening so these are the two crystals that you will be needing this week. Okay, uh, for those of you, uh, you may know that crystals are very expensive. And these cards come in. Oh, there it is. As They are also very powerful. You could use them when you meditate or use these. Put You could put this one on your crown and this one on your heart and meditate. Or you could put an intention on it and carry with them with you during the week. Now we'll see what 
is your animal spirit guide. Okay. You got the unicorn. Re reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago. The mind answers may be, or it could be, or no way. This very contemplation explains our relationship with divinity and in, encapsulates our wavering belief in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. Is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the in inexplicable. The mind's eye knows there is a something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences. The mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp... Hold on. Give me a second. To grasp something more. You are the unicorn and you have begun your quest for the answers. The unicorn and the sixth chakra. It's no surprise that the subtle essence of the unicorn card resides at the third eye. The exact, the exact place from which the unicorn's horn extends. This center is called the Anya Chakra or Command Center. The ancient yogis believed it to be responsible for our intellect, intuition, and deepest wisdom. Some say our two eyes see the past and present while this, this third eye peers into the future. So your animal spirit is the unicorn. Beautiful. And what does your soul want to say to you? Okay, well, number 29, and you got, you are the universe. Sorry for the glare. Okay, uh, it says, know the self and know the nature of everything. You are you and yet, uh, you are you and yet you are also the universe. Just like you, the universe is a living identity. It is not a thing or person that knows everything. It is growing, moving and reaching forward to experience life in new ways. Whenever or wherever you are, you will always recognize yourself and you will always exist. Play with the idea that the universe in all its manifestation peers out through you. It mingles and joins with your energy to see the world through your uniqueness and expands as you do. You are the pioneer of this universal frontier and the universe needs you to know it in all its forms. If you believe everything is separate, you will want a guide, angel, light being, someone or something outside of you who sees you to show you the way. However, everything is as one and nothing is separate. So nothing is on the outside looking in. The universe sees wonderment through your eyes and you are the wonderment in the universe because your own become your own authority. Choose to feel good by discovering what makes you Laugh, love, and enjoy. Focus on this and you will create sil 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 similar manifestations. And whatever you don't focus upon will fall away from lack of attention. Now, uh, your actions, number one, are do 15 minutes of exercise every day for a week. Move more and you will overthink less. Number two, do something that takes you out of your comfort zone. Go to the movies, a restaurant or musical by yourself, skydive or trek up a mountain. Facing your fear stops them controlling you. And number three, spend the five, first five minutes of waking, feeling joyous, calm, and see how far you can take this into your day. So spend the first five minutes on waking, feeling joyous, calm, and see how far you can take this into your day. If you want to do the journal work, okay, you can, uh, this is, it's, uh, ask two people in your life to write down three qualities they really like about you and do the same for them. Record all of this in your journal. So I hope that you, uh, enjoyed your, uh, reading my beautiful gems. Thank you again for all the love and support. Thank you for being here and being patient. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and know that I have your back and I'll see you next week. Bye. I love you. Bye.